calling out on YouTube, James Prigioni coming to you from Jersey. It's March 16th. To bring you guys along for a little update. Here's our some uh, plants I started from seed indoors. I usually don't start things from seed and transplant outside, but I wanted to test some of the seed that I had saved, like the tomatoes, like these are here. And also just was getting a little antsy, so I wanted to plant some things in the ground. I usually don't have that good of luck transplanting things, but I may just be doing it wrong, so I'd like to extend the growing season as long as possible, maybe get a jump start on some of the tomatoes. So that's what you're seeing here. I also wanted to show, I have a little tip here for people if they're growing plants and they're getting leggy. Sorry about the bad lighting, but you can see uh, the Zabraska right here. And when it came up, it's getting a little leggy. The idea with that is to plant something like brassicas when you're planting them in a cup or something, only fill it halfway. This way when they grow up tall and get leggy, there's room that you could fill in with soil to backfill back up to the top. And then uh, it'll make the plant a lot more sturdy and not leggy. So, just come through here. Fill it with some dirt. A little tough to do with one hand, but... Just gonna just backfill it with dirt. So, um, and then this, uh, this is what it'll end up looking like. Right here. So you go from a tall, leggy plant like that, and you get to bring it up to about to here, so it has a nice sturdy base good for growing but uh... I usually just use outside dirt from outside it's not a good idea if you're going to be growing things inside all year round you're better off getting a potting mix but if you're just starting things from seedling and planting it from seedling like I am it works especially if you can get the dirt in the winter when there's not as many bugs out so uh... And I like to put wood chips on the top here and you can see these wood chips ones like right here you can see this white on it. You can see there's white growing right here, and that's fungus. That's called the mycorrhizae association. So when you have wood chips, fungus comes and breaks down the wood chips. That's why the wood chips are so so valuable because they get that mycorrhizae relationship or association. You could really see it there. So I was thinking about doing a video on uh, explaining how gardening has a lot less to do with nutrients than people think. How nutrients aren't the most important thing about gardening that there's so many other factors that play into it things like the mycorrhizae association things like uh, just the air how, how much that gives into it sunlight and how little plants actually take from nutrients nutrients have a lot to do with uh, selling products so if you guys want to see a video like that let me know but just wanted to show you guys a little tip take you along for a short video let you know I'm excited for the spring and the summer we got some big things coming so Follow along, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. James Prigioni's out.